You've seen the art professor work through the process and take control of the process, but we're going to show you a student who is a professional artist as well create something. When I first came to learn about this process, Don was so gracious as to create this magnificent bowl, and I just will set it down here so you can really, really see it for me, and that's when I, I was hooked at watching this from beginning to end. And so what John is going to do is, is share with us his experience and take us through his process as he creates another piece. So how long have you been a glass blowing artist? For three years now here at Kirkwood. Very, very cool. And do you sell your work in galleries or through I have other... I do have an Etsy account, a store online and I sell some work on there. But we also have a fall and a spring sale. I sell a lot there. That's my main your main ways of distribution. Correct. Do people collect your art? Um, they, they're starting to, I, I hope. That's so cool. <laughs> what is your favorite thing to make? My favorite thing to make, I guess, would be my double neck twisty vase. It's like two necks that twist around. Oh, I could do that. Just that's, <laughs> that's the funnest for me, I guess. So that's kind of your signature piece? Yes. OK, all right. So you've agreed to show us something new today. What is that new item that we're going to witness you creating? I was going to create another bowl. It needs a, match, a matching set. So you right. have a matching set. Okay, let's do it. I'm going to guard this and step out of the way and let you work your magic. All right, John. I'm letting it cool down so I can gather more clear glass over this. So you're working the same color palette as this original piece that you put. Okay. Yes. So it should match. Oh yes, we like coordinating sets. And now, what type of glass are you using? Are you using the Fritz or? I'm using a Fritz mixture. It's got iris brown, iris dark brown, um, and a, another iris color. This is just clear glass. It's not the recycled. Okay. So that it won't affect my colors. I'm not used to this. Shaping the glass and cooling it, cooling it at the same time. My bubble into the tip. Yeah, my sides are expanding a lot faster than my tip. Centering my punny. Oh, that is so cool. This one's gonna be a little different. My lip wasn't real even. I love that asymmetrical look. And so when you swing it back and forth, you're just pulling it down and, yeah. and shaping it and if at I the same time. If I spin it faster, those centrifugal force to shoot the flaps out. So you don't always get exactly what you're going for. I think it's beautiful. That's, that's all she wrote. Beautiful, thank you so much.